Hey guys, Chad Trofgruben here. Today I am doing my first tutorial in Adobe Photoshop. Now with these tutorials, I plan to start with the basics and then slowly build upon them so that by the time you're done, you'll have a good understanding of what Photoshop can do and what the tools do and all that good stuff. So today, I'm concentrating on the lasso tool. The lasso tool basically allows you to select parts of your image in a freestyle manner, meaning it's not a square, it's not a circle, you actually draw what you want to select. And with this, once we select something on the image, we can then go ahead and manipulate that part of the image or we can move it over to another image or whatever we want to do with it. And in this tutorial, I will be taking this flower and then plopping it onto a different image just to show you how it's done. Nothing really fancy here. So with that, let's begin. First, we need to go ahead, if you haven't already done so, and select your lasso tool. Now, the thing is, if you hold down your mouse button on this tool right here, you'll see that we have three different options. We just want to concentrate on the lasso tool for this tutorial, so make sure you have that one selected and not one of the other two. Now, we're going to go ahead and trace this flower so that it will be selected and we can move it over to our other image. So I'm going to go ahead and start down here and I'm going to just begin and start tracing. Now the thing is, this isn't going to be perfect. It all depends on how steady you are and all that kind of stuff. But again, you're not going to be perfect. You're probably going to go outside the line. You might go inside the line. We can adjust that though once we are done tracing this. So just keep that in mind. I'm now going to probably speed this video up so we can just get through this qu quicker and then we can move on. So I'll do that. Okay, we have now finished this. Now, as you can probably tell right off the bat, there's some areas that I missed. Either I went in the lines or I went way outside so we would have part of the sky if we actually cut this out and brought it over to the other image. Well, there is an easy way we can go ahead and manipulate that, as I said before. So let's go ahead and zoom in on these problem areas. And to do that, you can either um, use command or control space bar to go to your zoom tool, or you can just click your zoom tool right there if you choose to. And let's just go ahead and zoom in on this one first. Now, as you can see, I'm way outside of where that uh, outline should be. So what I want to do is I want to subtract this from the selection. So in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and hold in my Option or Alt key. And my lasso tool will then get a minus sign by it. And what I want to do now is I want to trace this part that I missed, followed by looping up and basically cutting out the part that I put in, if that makes any sense. I'll just go ahead and show you. So I'm going to just go along here where I should have traced but missed, just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and kind of loop up here and then come all the way back around where I first started, right about there, and then release my mouse button. And there you go. It goes ahead and gets rid of that area that I messed up on. Now let's go ahead and zoom back out here. I'm going to use my Alt or Option key followed by the space bar, and I'll get my um, Zoom Out tool. I'm just gonna go ahead and zoom out here. Now as you can see, I didn't miss other places, but right here particularly, I'm going to go ahead and use my Command Space to zoom in. You'll see that I, it was kind of the opposite effect. Instead of going out, I went too far in. Well, we can fix this as well. What I'm going to do with my lasso tool still selected, I'm going to hold in shift. Now a plus sign will appear next to your lasso tool. I'm then going to go ahead and start about where I feel I was getting off track here. I'm just gonna draw where I feel that should be. 
Now make sure when you start you're connected to your previous selection in some way and make sure you also end it kind of like that. So I'm going to go down here and right about there. Now when I release it goes ahead and snaps it back to where it should be. And that is how you manipulate your lasso tool with the add and subtract functions. I still have a few areas that could use some touching up as you can see right here. So I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to do that. And if you're following along, I advise you do the same and I'll come back and I'll show you the final step. Okay, I have gone ahead and made some adjustments and it probably could be a little bit better, but I'm not really doing this for a project and if you guys are, you would spend more time on it, but it's good for now. So now what I'm going to do with the selected, I'm simply going to go to edit, copy or command or control C and I'm going to go to my new picture, whatever that is you choose to be, and I'm going to go and go control or command V or edit paste. And then I'll just bring it in and set it down right here. Now as you can see that there are some areas, as I said, that could be use, could use some work, or you could go in with the eraser tool even and work with that. But this should give you a basic understanding of how to use the lasso tool. And there you have it. That is my first tutorial in Photoshop. I have more coming, so keep an eye out for those. I hope you guys found this helpful, and I'll see you guys next time.